Hello everyone, today we are going to learn about variables. So the variables are the very basic concept of every programming language. So I'm going to start by typing slash slash variables here. So what does this slash slash mean? It means that I'm writing a comment. So if I had written variables here without any slash, uh, the Android Studio will give me an error because it's not a valid code. So in order to take codes, we comment out the code and we can write whatever we want. So whenever you see a slash slash, it means that it is not a part of code, but it is rather a uh, comment. So we have talked about this function class and everything, but I want to make it clear. So I, I, I will start by explaining what a class is. Okay, so I'm writing my codes under this all right function and under this main activity class. So what does a main activity class do? In under layout, we have our layout file activity main dot XML. As we have seen in the previous section, whatever object we may place in here, the user will see when we run the application, right? Um, we can have a hello world text view, we can have a Metallica image here, we can have a button and any objects uh, in this list. And we will see to design uh, layouts in great detail within the next lecture, uh, next section, sorry. But for now, uh, Please know that this main activity class is connected to activity main layout. So whatever we have write, uh, we have written down in here uh, has been connected to the activity main XML as well. So we have one main activity class. So class is the biggest uh, biggest component of this code. It's like a tree, like we have uh, said before. And the function, uh, function, the classes are actually consisting of a lot of, uh, consists a lot of functions, okay? So they are consisted of uh, a few different functions. And for example, we have an onCreate function that is previously created for us here. So what does onCreate do? It, uh, it specifies what will happen after the application starts and after this activity created. Okay, so whatever we have in here will happen when we open the activity. So this function is previously created for us so it says override function and uh, we have to have this function in order to uh, operate properly okay and super dot on create save instance and set content view r dot layout activity main is the uh, default code that we get here and it just sets up the activity and sets up the layout and connects the layout with main activity. So I will write down our variables code, variables examples within onCreate because, because why? I don't want to wait for user to hit on some button or anything, okay? So I will say while well, x equals to five, while well, y equals to four. So I have created two uh, variables and what I want to do is to multiply them. So X multiplied by Y. So I want to get the value, the result of this operation. What I can do is to go to activity main and create some text views and or anything and uh, let the result be shown there. 
but I don't want to deal with that every time. But rather I will say print line, print ln, and say x multiplied by y. So this print line function will uh, be shown in this log cat here, and the log is actually used by the developers. Like if you can say test, test, test here, you will see this as well. So this log cat is used by developers in order to test these codes and see the output in the log. So you don't have to see the output of everything in the layout. Uh, if you don't want to show it to the user, you can see it on the log. So in order to be practical and not deal with emulator every time, I will use the log. Okay, so the emulator will start we will not see anything related to x multiplied by y in the layout section because we didn't have, uh, we didn't implement any method to create any text view related to the result of this. And uh, if you don't, uh, if you don't remember uh, your virtual device, uh, you can just uh, set up them from here the AVD manager. We have already seen this, but I just wanted to uh, Remind you that if you don't have any emulator set up yet, you can create one with the AVD manager Okay, so Actually as I said before we're not going to see anything related to this operation like we see only the hello world here, but uh, the code is run right now and if you go and look for the log as you can see we see the test 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 and we see x multiplied by y so it's 20 so i have created two variables and assigned some values to them and did some operations regarding to these variables why did I do that? Uh, what if I just have written down like uh, print line 5 multiplied by 4, right? So delete this and multiply 5 times 4. So is this going to give any different result to me? Of course not. It's going to give the same result to me. 20 and test 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 so why in the world what I wanted to create two variables in order to achieve that because the variables are actually created in order to store some information it's not that I have uh, I'm going to have the predefined values every time maybe I will ask the user like I will ask the age of the user a user will give me some inputs and it will be 20 maybe I will just change the 20 later on maybe I will create another result from this age like um, I, I, I will want to multiply it by 5 and divide it by 4 and I show it to the result to user Maybe that is the case that I want to do. So in this case, it says instant run changes, apply changes. And if I click here, um, it says that uh, it will be much faster than running the emulator again. As you can see, it gives me the results. Okay, got it. So as you can see, it gave me the 20 along with the 25, which is a uh, hundred divided by four equals to 25. So that is the real usage of variables. So we don't know the uh, age of the user. We want an input from the user, they give it. So we store those information re in respect, uh, in r related variables and then we do some operations with that variables. Uh, if you get this logic, then 
uh, stay awake. We're going to get deeper in the next lecture.